genre fusion can often be nothing more than a developer clumsily smashing together two popular things in order to make a third, ultra-mega popular thing, but Enter the Gungeon makes skillful use of elements from both roguelikes and bullet hells. Even judged purely by arcade shooter standards, Gungeon makes the grade, and its carefully implemented roguelike elements add variety, structure, and replayability to that base. It's all wrapped up in a breezy, delightfully silly package that kept me shooting, smiling, and shooting some more. Enter the Gungeon is all about bullets and guns and shooting stuff. No, really, it's all about that. Like, to a hilarious degree. Seemingly everything from the enemies to the environments is infused with firearm-related bits. This goofy fetishism is immediately disarming, setting a unique and charming tone right away. Right from level 1, there are enemies capable of throwing sinkfuls of bullets your way. That gives veteran shmup jockeys ample opportunity to show off their juking skills, but it's made manageable by a partially invincible dodge roll that can get you out of tight spots when your left thumb can't. The enemy variety ramps up nicely as you go from level to level, and the slew of memorable bosses will truly test your mettle. They fill the screen with nonsense and plunge you into a true bullet hell. As diverse and interesting as your foes are though, the wide array of guns and gadgets is the true star here. From more conventional firearms like the sniper rifle or the Winchester, to decidedly mm, non-conventional ones like this fire spewing pitchfork, or this laser rifle that sends bullets flying back lightsaber style whenever you reload, there is no shortage of fun, creative ways to blow enemies to bits. The roguelike elements are applied sparingly, so as to complement the shooter gameplay rather than smother it. Each floor of the gungeon is made up of a random configuration of handcrafted rooms, so everything feels well placed, but you never settle into a monotonous rhythm. Chests, shop items, and boss drops are all totally random, so one run I might be blanketing rooms with a Molotov launcher and a gun that fires homing skulls, and the next I might be doubling the damage output of my Mega Man inspired buster cannon with this double vision item. Though there are NPCs to save and a few dungeon traps to sidestep, the focus stays squarely and delightfully on the strong, varied combat powered by a deep pool of inventive guns. For more Into the Gungeon, keep it right here on IGN.